here we let's comment this otherwise we are always rerouting ourselves to the about page we are getting some data here let's grab an example from the hojet cookbook let's get back and let's get it can be let's get here the pie chart and we want let's open the basic option here okay changing to javascript here you can see in 3d or 2d and we have the series here we need to change all of that but for now let's grab the example the og chart here and inside the dash let's put in the right side dashboard html we have this div and for now let's create a div so you can later change the ojet classes and put it more responsive and let's put that here and we need to uh, let's remove that and over team you probably don't want that here this data provider we are going to display what we are going to display some user demographics so the countries for some users so users pi data provider and of course you will need to initialize that here let's create a dash view model dot init variables close to function oh, sorry about that close to function and here we will finish this initialize this and we need the array data provider let's copy that from here i guess yes we have that here so mm -hmm. let's put that here we want the array data provider and let's grab the rest of the code here so we need to put new now we need to include the module that allows us to load the um, the OG chart there is the OGS slash OG chart let's put that in the last position and give it some single quotes what we also need we need data but for now let's open the dashboard and we Hojimodo config we have some errors why i put a comma here my bad and now we have some errors because we are trying to parse a data that does not exist we need to give it an array oh, and we need to save that of course and what now users by data provider is not defined of course you don't want to forget to call uh -huh, let's call it here this that you need to, so you need to call the prototype function so you can define it and hopefully is not a function oh yeah prototype i've missed some <laughs> a lot of things here uh, sorry about that no errors and by default if you don't have data the oracle jet visualization components will display this message the no data to display please don't be like me <laughs> that i forgot to put the prototype here and was talking like ah here in the prototype you need to init the variables well you know what we want right now so we want some data 
and if you can see we have the OJ chart right there the type is pi we give it the red auto provider we want to use this is some basic uh, attribute the id can be pi chart or you can use the core hotels to generate a dynamic and unique id and then we have this template tag inside the OJ chart you can see that it is inside the OJ chart tag and here you uh, use the slot item template because the OJ chart is expecting to have this slot and this data OJ has and then the name item is the name you want to use then inside the template to identify the current object you are holding so if you put there uh, bananas you need to change this item here to bananas bananas and bananas that's the way you do it so let's keep it like item it's a default convention and then you need to go to the dot data so you need to go to the property data from the object we are holding and then we need to choose what we want to get in this case the value will be the value property uh, for each item and then the group is the group and the series is the series let's grab the example from the cookbook we have here the, um, the data let's grab that and put that directly here so it's receiving that right now and let's see and voila we have some values here right now what we want let's try to change some attributes and change how we can see everything we have animations and this is really really slow we can change the data labels outside center or auto uh, or outside you can change that to uh, change that you will see here or j chart and we will have the style default object that is here is the attribute and then inside that the label position you can give it a value the one we are seeing here so let's just grab this one and in our code let's give it an enter and use the the outside slice i guess it's the same name to the property so let's copy that and equals to outside slice so hopefully it will be outside yeah so you have the values outside uh, by default it is auto so according to the size of its parent it will display inside or outside and according to the size of the text you can also change more options like the formatting the number like selecting some data by pressing and you can use that by giving it two attributes so the selection mode and the selection here the selection mode we can sorry the selection mode we can choose the if you choose multiple you uh, can click and then control and click and choose other ones and you can see the selection being displayed here okay you can change it or you can use the single or you can even use none so you cannot select let's use single right now you can use a variable or uh, put the string directly here so here it will be users by selection value and it will be an observable so let me just um go to the customers and grab these functions that i always use and just copy this grab all of that replace that 
and now we want an observable here oh i forgot to copy a piece of it just delete all of that that we are not using let's comment otherwise we will have an error here and here as well so hopefully uh user by selection value is not defined user okay again you need to call <laughs> the prototype and this time i have the prototype there um let's call it just init observables and init observables knockout is not defined so we need to import knockout here knockout dashboard so let's put that as the second one it's okay and then q knockout now we have here we can press and select to change the way we can see that you have highlight and explode the explode and the default one that is highlight I guess we can choose the explode one that will be the selection effect is this one so here we need to add one more attribute and change this to explode and then hopefully we can see the selection exploding yeah you click and it explodes 